Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Here we have on the table for review two ultra lightweight backpacking lanterns. The one here on the left is the Black Diamond Orbit, and the one on the right is the UCO Claris. Um, both of these are sort of budget backpacking lights. Um, they're both available for less than $20 at a number of retailers these days. The UCO goes for as little as 13 bucks on Amazon, and this one is, I believe, 20 bucks on Amazon. So this is a uh, these are very uh, inexpensive uh, backpacking options. Both of them have a number of features in common. Let's quickly go over the ways in which they're alike, and then we can talk a little bit more about the differences. Um, the basic design is the same. These both run on AAA batteries. Um, they both collapse down to a very small size so that they're easy to put in your pack and they don't weigh very much. Then you get where you're going, um, and you're ready to, to, to have a lantern, you pop this open. And now the design is the, the batteries are here in the bottom, there's a little LED that points straight up, and then there's a bowl-shaped reflector here in the top that spreads the light out through this clear plastic lens in all directions. Um, so that's how that looks. And then this one functions exactly the same way. Battery, lamp, uh, LED, bowl-shaped reflector. Okay. And then you close them back up and you're ready to go back on the trail. All right. Um, another way in which these things are really very similar is actually in their build quality. Um, you know, Black Diamond's been around for a while. They, they sell a lot of different lamps. They're a well-known brand in the backpacking community. So I knew this was going to be a pretty well-made product, and this didn't disappoint me. This is a very solidly made light. Um, it doesn't look, give you the sense that it's going to fall apart. You could throw this in your pack and not worry about it uh, being in 10 pieces when you get wherever you're going. UCO, I'd never heard of, and so I, this was sort of a gamble. I had no idea whether this thing was going to be a piece of junk or decent or not um, when I bought it. And so uh, I've been very pleasantly, given what this cost, this is an extraordinarily well-built thing. Plastic here is very solid and very thick. This is nicely attached here with three metal screws. None of this is wiggly, it's not, it's not flexing, it's not cheap feeling at all. The button is solid, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break anytime soon. The base here is solid. Um, the internals for the battery compartment and all that, all still just fine. Um, so both of these are really quite good in terms of the build quality. Um, they both use AAA batteries, which is very handy if you happen to take, you know, something like this uh, with you, which is a headlamp that also uses AAA batteries. So. You get one of these and you have a headlamp that uses AAA batteries, you're basically carrying an extra set of batteries for your headlamp with this thing. And so that's another sort of uh, useful sort of weight saving um, option, which makes these uh, pretty attractive. Um, both of these have a couple of features that I, or lack of features that I don't particularly like, and they're identical in that way. Uh, so again, not really a discriminating thing. Um, neither one of these is waterproof. So no manuf the manufacturers make no claims about them being waterproof. I would put them in a dry bag or a plastic bag if you're gonna to want to use them in wet, in wet conditions. Um, so uh, so there's that downfall which you get, I guess, when you're not paying that, all that much money for one in the first place, you're not gonna get uh, everything completely waterproof. Um, another thing I don't particularly care for is how, uh, how much light they put off when they're in their lowest setting. And so in order to make this sort of a, a fair comparison, you know, when you're looking at some of these lumen numbers on the internet and, you know, run times, which are probably optimistically inflated by the manufacturers and you gotta be skeptical of all that, you know, you want a little bit of sort of real world data point that's gonna make some sense as you, you know, evaluate all of that. And so I decided to, to do a real world test on both of these by taking them into a completely dark room, setting them on their lowest setting, and seeing whether I could comfortably read by the light that was put out on the lowest setting from just a foot or two away. So I put the book, you know, not far, not much farther away than near, and then I would, you know, I put them up so that somehow they would be better if they were hanging above. Um, and I found that both of these lights utterly failed that test. Um, you can't read by the lowest setting on either of them. Um, they are very, very dim on their lowest setting. That's not to say that they're, they're useless and have no value on their lowest setting. Um, but when you start talking about run times and getting into to those issues, you should know that this really needs to run on its full setting. Um, if we're pretty close to its full setting to be bright enough to read by in your tent. And this one, there's three settings. It doesn't need to be on high, but it needs to be on the medium setting in order to run bright enough to be uh, useful as a reading lamp in your tent. So that's a little bit of sort of real world experience to sort of bring to bear on some of these numbers and, and such that, that, that's going to follow. Um, so now let's get into some of the differences and, and some of the comparison between the two of these. 
I'll talk about the things that are nice about the UCO first. First thing that's really nice about the UCO, in addition to the fact that it's even cheaper than the, than the Black Diamond, is that it's got an extra functionality the Black Diamond doesn't have. If you look at the top of this here, I don't know if you can see that, but this is both a lantern and a flashlight. So, you know, you use this as a flashlight like this, it works just fine. So actually, I've taken this out in the woods, it's actually a pretty good flashlight. Then when you get where you're going and you want to, want to set it down and use it as a lantern, bam. It's a, actually quite a bright lantern right there like that. So you get that added functionality of flashlight plus lantern with this. Don't get that with the, uh, with the Black Diamond. Um, the other advantage this has over the, uh, uh, over the Black Diamond is in its weight. This is actually, I, I weighed both of these. And, and I weighed both of them with the batteries in because that's the only way anybody would ever carry them into the woods. You know, I don't know whether what the what the advertised numbers are. I don't really care. Um, I'm only going to weigh these in the way that they'd actually be taken into the woods, which is with the batteries in them. This one comes out at 108 grams. This one weighs 129 grams with the batteries in it. Um, so this one is a little bit heavier than this one. I wouldn't say that that's a huge difference. You can notice it when you pick it up, but it's not, you know, not exactly what you would call an enormous difference. Um, the UCO has another feature which I think is actually a little bit more important than the weight difference, and that's the ability to get quite bright. When you turn this on, the maximum brightness for this is 150 lumens. The maximum brightness for the Black Diamond, just 45 lumens. Now, how much difference is that in the real world? This is a whole lot brighter than this is in the real world. This will light up a whole room in a way that this just can't. Um, this, not to say that this is always too dark, this is actually gives off plenty of light to read by. It's perfectly adequate light, but it doesn't get this sort of bright area light the way that th this can. So that's a nice feature of the, of the UCO. All right, so now we've got to a point where we've said, okay, this comes with a flashlight, it weighs less, it costs less, and it's brighter. Well, does that mean that this is just like the winner and we should just forget about this black diamond thing because it stinks? Uh, no, not really. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Black Diamond. This is actually an excellent light, and in, in some respects, it's quite superior to the UCO uh, once we talk a little bit more about some of these specifics. Um, the first way in which the UCO is better than, excuse me, that the Black Diamond is better than the UCO is in the design here at the top. And in order to show you this, I have to actually show you the UCO and show you the comparison. All right, so you're going to be in your tent. You want to hang this thing up from the top of your tent. Great, there's a little hook here. You can do this, except it's a fully enclosed hook. What is the thing at the top of your tent going to look like? Well, if your tent looks like any other tent I've ever seen, it has a little loop that looks something like this. This is obviously bigger than it. It's going to be a little loop like this. It's a little closed loop like this. And you have to somehow attach your light to the little loop that's sewn into the roof of the tent. How is that going to happen if this is closed and, this, and, the, and the loop in the top of your tent is closed? The answer is it's not. At least not without an extra piece of string, a paracord, you know, a little carabiner. Uh, you know, is this the end of the world that it doesn't come sort of ready to hang in your tent as is? No, it's not. Probably not something that anybody would even notice until you see the design of this thing. This is far more clever and far more thoughtful. This is designed to hang in the top of your tent in a way that doesn't require any additional steps, doesn't require any additional pieces. It just hangs up the way you set it up. And the reason why is it's got this split uh, loop that only goes three quarters of the way around. And so what you do is you hook this like this, and this obviously is way too fat, but it, so it's not gonna work perfectly. But the idea is you, you get, you get this, this like this, and then you take this, snap it up like that, and then you've got, I hope I get it right, there we go. All right, so you, you just hook that into the top of your tent and then there you go. Now it's hanging from the loop without anything, any, any extra carabiner or any extra paracord. Um, you're all set, so you get that advantage that the other one doesn't have, and that's a nice feature. And it's a, it's a more thoughtful design, so they get, Black Diamond clearly gets credit for thinking this up because that's a clever way to do that. The next thing I really like about the Black Diamond versus the UCO is the placement of the on-off switch. And here's where the on-off switch is here. And let's imagine that you've thrown this thing into your pack and it's loose and it's bouncing around with everything else. It's flying around here. There's sharp things hitting it, whatever, because you were sloppy in the way you packed it and you weren't, you're not protecting it or whatever. How likely is it that you're gonna turn this thing on by accident in your pack so that when you get where you're going, it's dead? And the answer is it's impossible. 
This thing is absolutely not going to break because it's thick plastic. It's not going to turn on accidentally. You'd have to break this plastic to get this thing open. And that's not sort of the, the end of the design. They really don't want you turning this on accidentally. This doesn't come open really easily, and that's a design feature. That's not, that's not a mistake. This is supposed to be hard to pull. And the reason why is that protects this, this, this button from being hit accidentally. So you're not gonna, you're not gonna see this thing accidentally get triggered on in the middle of your pack and get uh, dead by the time you get there. UCO, by contrast, it's more like a flashlight. It is a flashlight after all. And it's got a button on the back like most flashlights, which is exposed. Now it's not, it doesn't sit, it doesn't sit proud of this. And so anything that's big is not gonna turn this on accidentally. But something, you get something small and something sharp, yeah, it's still not going to turn it on because why? Well, if there's a, there's a spring here that means you've got to really sort of push it in. Okay, so, but it's possible that this gets knocked hard enough to turn it on accidentally while it's in your pack and so you get there and it's dead. Now, that's actually, when you're camping and you're in the backcountry, that's a pretty big deal because if this thing is completely dead, you're not going to go to CVS to get more batteries for it, right? So this is kind of an important thing that this doesn't happen in, the, in your pack and this is clearly a better design when it comes to that. Another thing I really like about the, the, the Black Diamond is that it's got an infinitely adjustable brightness. So you start out here, you can dial it up and down, and it goes like that. And you can, so that, that's a nice feature because you can give just about as much light as you need while saving your battery. That's clever. This, on the other hand, much more sort of coarse and simple. You get high, you get medium, which by the way is pretty close to high in terms of how bright it is. It's not a big difference. Then you get low, which is quite a bit dimmer. Then you get this flashing mode, which I think is mostly useless, but whatever. Somebody will tell me that that's going to save my life in the comments, and yeah, that's okay, whatever. Um, uh, so I really don't think that the switch here, both the placement and sort of the functionality, is nearly as good as um, the Black Diamond. And uh, um, so that's a way in which this is, this is a better lamp. Now... Does that, are those, is that enough to make me want to go ahead and buy this over this? Uh, no, but there's one and probably, mo and really in much, much ways, the most important difference between these, and that's battery life. This runs on four AAA batteries. This only has three. This has a maximum lumens of 45. This has a maximum lumens of 150. That means this is going to last this is gonna this is gonna live fast and die hard. It's really not gonna last a very long time. The when you buy this, there's a little chart on the back that the manufacturer gives you that tells you the expected runtime. And the, so this is of course the manufacturer op, uh, estimate, so it's gonna be optimistic. The manufacturer estimates that this is gonna run for about an hour on high for the fresh set of batteries. Um, this is gonna run 12 hours on high. Um, on medium setting for this, um, it's still going to run about an hour, maybe a little bit more than an hour, but certainly not a lot more than an hour. There's no medium setting on this, so you don't really know. But it's, again, you assume more because it's a lot less and there's more power. And this on low, it claims 70 hours, um, and this claims 24 hours. I wouldn't put a much stock in that one way or the other. Um, First of all, this, this has more batteries than this, so there's no way this is running three times as long. It's not three times as efficient. That just doesn't make any sense. Um, so, yeah. and, and even if it were, it doesn't really matter because, as I said on doing my, my test on, low is just too low to be useful for very much. So you're going to want to run it on a higher level anyway most of the time. Um, and so this really is more of a, it's a flashlight that can serve as a short-term lantern um, or if you want to go sort of fast and light, and you're, it's just an overnight, you don't have to worry too much about the batteries lasting on you because you're not planning to run it as a lantern for four hours in the evening. Um, you know, take this because it's it weighs less, it's cheaper, and it's, you also have this added value of it's a flashlight for you. But if you're going on a two, three, four day trip, and you plan to run your lantern for, you know, a couple hours in the evening, you need this. There's really no question because this is actually going to run on one set of batteries. Now you might get, you know, maybe you could get a little more zip out of this by putting lithium batteries in it and making it a little bit more flexible. But the reality is, is that this is still basically a flashlight with a little bit of lantern functionality in it. This is a dedicated lantern and it's going to run a lot longer. Um, so 
you know, make the choice based on what you what you need. Now, if I were if I were only going to pick one, I would probably pick this one most of the time. Um, but that's not to say this is a bad choice. It's just uh, um, it's just a very different kind of choice than uh, than the black diamond. Anyway, hopefully that has been helpful to you. And uh, you know, leave whatever comments you want. Tell me that that, that I suck. That's okay. I don't mind. Um, I'm a big boy. I can take it. Uh, anyway, and uh, for those of you who don't want to troll and just want some information, I hope that was helpful. Have a good uh, day.